Hi, this is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next I've got a quick unboxing of some great Golden Age books I recently picked up from Golden Age Guru's claim sale. Stay tuned! Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So, I wasn't originally planning on filming this video right away, um, but uh, the package came and it suffered a little damage in the mail, and because there are uh, some fairly expensive and rare Golden Age books in here, I was uh, a little concerned. So <laughs> I didn't really want it to set it aside and wait to open it, so I'm going to, to jump right into this one. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to open it from this side. I think it'll be a little easier. So, uh, if, if you aren't familiar with uh, who the Golden Age Guru is, or, or uh, Jeff is his name, um, he is a Overstreet advisor uh, that for Golden Age books, and he often is on uh, Comic Tom 101's channel talking about Golden Age books, showing different books from his collection. Uh, you know, he's, he's definitely an, an expert uh, in that area. And I'm actually going to uh, make another video as well because he, uh, he helped me out recently with a concern I had about a book I had purchased um, and uh, I had some questions about it and he, uh, you know, he was great, got back to me and, and helped uh, kind of calm my, my nerves on, <laughs> on that book. Um, so, all right, let's, I'll, I'll, I'll get into this and then we'll, uh, we'll get started. This is the corner that seemed to take that that hit. So I'll we'll, I'll just kind of be aware of that <laughs> as I open this, and you know, in case there's any, uh, just to check for any damage to anything. Um, but uh, I think I I think I've mentioned his claim sales before. Uh, actually, yes, yeah, because I, I had I had done an unboxing for for a different book I had purchased on one of these sales, and it was uh, the tales of, or. Tales to Astonish, number 35, the first appearance of Ant-Man in costume. And his claim sales are, they're super fun to watch because you often see books that you just will not normally come across. And so whenever he announces them on, on Instagram, I always kind of like to, to make a note of it to remember to kind of go and check them out because they're usually across a couple days at least. And so they're, they're just, they're, they're fun to watch even if you just want to see some cool old books that you haven't seen before. There's also one Bronze Age book that's in here, and uh, just because it was a great deal, so I, <laughs> so I picked that up as well. Um, oh, this is nice. So he's got he's got them in, in Mylar's, which is real nice. So it's two, I believe it's two uh, graded books, and I think it was three raw books. So, but we'll we'll confirm that when I get in these. So first is just the uh, uh, the Bronze Age book. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number one twenty three. Um, you anyway, know, it's just it's a nice high grade. It's a 9.4 white pages copy. I'm gonna take it out of the, out of the bag here. So it's a 9.4 white pages copy. Um, it's you know Luke Cage on the front fighting Spider-Man, which you know he may be kind of reappearing at some point in the kind of the whole Marvel Marvel universe. You know, since he's not on obviously the Netflix show anymore. Um, so I think these are these are good books to pick up, and also just any time you know early Bronze Age in a high grade like this with white pages. It's, uh, you know, if the price is right, I'm happy to pick it up. So uh, this is the first book, but you know, the rest of the books that, you know, are the ones that I'm, I'm most interested in because these are all the, uh, these, these Golden Age books that I picked up. So the first one here is uh, Rangers Comics number 26. And so this is a, it's a nice high grade. It's a 5.0 creamed off white pages. Um, but this is a what's known as a good girl art cover, you know, for obvious reasons. It's also often referred to as what's called a headlights cover, uh, because apparently people that name things were all born in the 30s or 40s or something like that. <laughs> but uh, but but yeah. So for obvious reasons, you know, I won't really go into. But um, but no, I mean, it's a this is a a 
very in demand book. I was uh, excited to see when he had put this book up for sale uh, as just something that I would have an opportunity to to purchase and own. Um, you know, it's the the back cover is, is pretty cool too, and nice nice colors on it, and just you know, 1945. You know, December of 1945. I mean, this is right near the end of, of uh, World War II and just, uh, you know, just a uh, amazing cover. Um, so this was uh, the f one, of, one of the books that I picked up. Now, I, I brought up another book that I wanted to show along with it. I don't think I showed an unboxing with this one. Um, I, I don't remember doing that, so, but if I did, you know, you see it again. So this is another copy of Rangers Comics that I have, and this is Rangers Comics number 40 from 1948. And uh, this is a different character. This is a character that goes by the name of Firehair. And besides being a, you know, kind of an awesome action cover in an extremely high grade, you know, 8.5, uh, if you can see at the top here, it's tough. Um, you know, and I'll, maybe I'll like shoot in a picture on the, the side, you know, of something closer. But what this is, this is a pedigree book. Now, one, this label looks different. If you're not familiar with kind of older CGC labels, uh, this is from their kind of like their first generation label. You know, they now look like this label. Uh, but this is their first generation label. And this is a pedigree book. It is the Okajima pedigree. And I think this is one of the most historically interesting and significant books that I own, not for the content of the book, but for the pedigree itself. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Okajima pedigree, uh, it was a, a woman that was in one of the Japanese internment camps in the United States during World War II. And uh, during that time period, she collected these books and for a few years afterwards. That's why obviously she wasn't still in the internment camp in 1948, um, but she continued to collect these books uh, you know, d during that time there and afterwards. And uh, in the, I think it was sometime in the mid 90s, because actually I have the certificate here from it as well. Uh, so this was this was one of the books that was picked up by Heroes Comics, uh, the owner of Heroes Comics, and so he got a set of these books, and um, and was you know instrumental in getting the pedigree for them and and all of that. And so um, she collected these books during that time. They they were found basically in the in the mid '90s, I think, is when they decided to to sell them, and they are just they're in incredible condition. You know, this is obviously 8.5, and if I I would guess if I cracked this out and pressed it and and you know regraded it, it would probably come back higher and it would probably move up to white pages instead of off white to white because it's generally known that the page quality was was graded a little more harshly in this time you know, for the early slabs. But I mean, this book is beautiful. The edges and the corners and the spine are just I mean they're incredible. The main damage is there's some to the upper corner up here, but I think that could be cleaned up pretty well. And, you know, just an incredible book, incredible history and just significance behind it. Um, like I said, I, I do recommend looking up, you know, these different pedigrees, but this one I, I think is the most important pedigree that, that's out there just because of its historical significance. But I just wanted to show that because it's another one of these Rangers comics books that I think is, you know, very important and that I uh, just think is one of the most interesting books that I, that I have. Um, so now moving on to uh, what should be the, the raw books. And, and yeah, and, and just a quick thing, I, I didn't see any, I don't see any damage in any of the corners to the slab. And so, you know, that's good news. So that, that uh, you know, no damage <laughs> to, to that one because uh, that is a, a great book that is an expensive book and I was a little worried <laughs> when I saw that, uh, uh, that damage to the corner. Uh, of the box. So, uh, the next three books, uh, so this is nice, they're all also inside of a, uh, let me make sure, I put a new blade in here so it's really sharp, I don't want to accidentally cut through something. Um, uh, they're all inside of a Gemini mailer as well, so that ensures that they're very safe, and they also have uh, also put you know boards around them so I'm just gonna make sure I get these all out safely all right. okay all right so this first first book is K 
Catman Comics number 29. And this is a, if, if you're not familiar with Catman, I also recommend going and looking up this run of books. There are some incredible covers in this run. Um, one of the big reasons for that is L.B. Cole did a number of these covers, including this one. And so, you know, it's just like all the other L.B. Cole books I've shown, you get some, you know, real bright colors, cool cover, or, you know, real cool covers. And you've got uh, Catman, and I think this is Kitten. <laughs> that's, her, that's her name on the cover. You know, and it's just, you know, you've got this, you know, a guy there with a knife, you know, attacking her and then Catman coming at him with, you know, all these cats and everything on the cover. So just, just, uh, you know, an incredible book that I'm always kind of on the lookout for, for Catman books. I think they, they're just a bunch of them that have just really incredible covers on them. Um, again, if you haven't checked these out before, I, I recommend going and uh, looking up that, that run of books. Um... Now, the next one, and this is the, the first time I've ever had a, a, a copy of a book from, from that run. Okay, so the next one, also very excited to get this book. Uh, so this is Human Torch number 33, and nothing particularly, you know, key or, you know, anything about this issue, just it was a really nice presenting copy. You know, I mean, you've got, uh, I've, I've mentioned this before, like, for, for whatever reason, I you know, with Golden Age books, the, you know, these yellows and reds, they always really pop. You know, you've got, I don't know if it's the ink that was used, it just maybe holds up better over long term uh, with those colors, but, you know, the reds on here, and then here we've got these, you know, these yellows, and then you've got the Human Torch sitting in this furnace here, getting ready to kind of like get the drop on these guys that have guns that are coming for him. And um, so, yeah, so just some, uh, a couple really, really nice uh, Golden Age books that just present e extremely well. I I'm very happy to have those. And I, I might do a, uh, a a flip through kind of video like I did with that um, uh, Detective Comics book with, with some of these as well. Just because, you know, most of the time these things are graded and it's it's cool to get some of these ungraded uh, just so you can uh, kind of have that, that chance to see what's, uh, what's on the you know, kind of the interior of these without just kind of going online and trying to find interiors but getting to actually flip through them. Now, the last book here is Startling Comics number six. And uh, my recent video that I did was a, a different issue of Startling Comics. So I had recently shown uh, this book, which is Startling Comics number 48, as well as uh, this book here, which is Startling Comics number 27 which are um, both Alex Schomburg covers. This is not an Alex Schomburg cover. And it's extreme, you know, it's a, this is a pretty low grade copy. Still looks nice, you know, you still have some nice colors and, and everything on the cover and no big pieces missing or anything like that. It's just, uh, you can tell it's got, you know, quite a bit of staining. And if I, I think, I think he said maybe the cover was detached or maybe it was detached at the bottom because it looks like it's attached to the top, so, something like that. Let's see, it was a uh, tape on front cover, tape on, uh, uh, oh, it's centerfold detached, that's what it is. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's it's not a high grade book or anything like that, but still, I mean, it is a really early uh, copy of an, or uh, early book for, for Startling Comics, I think, I'm trying to think when this would have been, I think it might be 1941, 1941 or 1942. Um, I will, I'll try to find that and maybe I'll plug that in, <laughs> in the video as well. But, but uh, yeah, another, you know, just great Golden Age book that I was excited to get as part of that claim sale, you know, that, and that's, that's why I say, like, it's worthwhile checking those out because you just don't see books like this um, all that often, especially when you don't have big kind of gatherings like, uh, you know, cons that were going on right now. And uh, so having the chance to see some of these books, to purchase some of these books, I was, I was very excited about that. So I uh, definitely recommend uh, checking out uh, his you know, his claim sales if you, if you see them on, on Instagram. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've got Startling Comics number six, uh, Human Torch number 33, uh, Catman number 29, and uh, Rangers Comics number number 26. Um, I, I won't bring up the Spider-Man. You know, these are the, <laughs> the main ones that I, was, that I really wanted to show and I was interested in. Very happy that they're all safe, uh, despite the, you know, the little bit of ding on the corner of the box. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I love being able to show the Golden Age books and talk about those. I, I think there's just so much variety in them. 
Uh, there's so many cool covers and just uh, great content that was created over that that long time period. You know that encompasses the golden age. So um, remember to you know, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will film some more videos when I get some more comics in. Thanks again.